Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Gabbabetic and welcome to today's video. As you can see I am outside in the lovely sun and the reason I'm outside is because as you can see from the title this video is all about exercise, starting the pump, going from MDI on insulin pens and injections to the pump. I haven't really done any exercise besides walking and to be honest at the start I even found getting the pump to adjust for walking difficult so I've kind of just got my head around that now so I'm trying to bring in some more exercise so that's what this video is all about how I get to exercising again with an insulin pump I'll be talking about things like my blood sugars temporary targets on the pump I should say I'm on the Medtronic 780g and yeah hopefully I'll be able to get back to running won't I Lana if you'll enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'm just going to start talking now about what my current insulin is like <music> So on Medtronic there's an app called the We Care app and it shows you your total daily dose. So like for example yesterday's one was high enough it was 48 units of insulin was a total daily dose. When I started on the insulin pump it wasn't this high and I don't know like it definitely depends like yesterday was the weekend and I had a lot of kind of bad food so I think that's why I was getting a lot of auto corrections I had a lot more insulin. The average total daily dose for two weeks here it says is around 43 units. Now like I said I am walking but this is what my current kind of average total daily dose is without any really strenuous exercise so it'll be interesting to keep an eye on that in the video and see if that goes up or down. Probably down but you never know. Um, so today so my plan is to get back into running and we're gonna start tomorrow gonna try and run two to three days a week hopefully three but if not two and i need to have my blood sugars right for running because if you've ever ran with type 1 diabetes it's incredibly hard to run one if you're in low blood sugar you cannot run and two if you're in high blood sugar i also find it very difficult because <laughs> because it's like re it just feels awful to have a high blood sugar anyway so it's really hard to run with one too so yeah we'll be trying that out and seeing how we go so anyway today i'm just going to talk to you about walking so i'm going to go for a walk in an hour we're just sitting outside me and lana right now you saw her there and in order to be ready for walking i need to set a temporary target so what a temporary target is on medtronic on the medtronic 780g pump there's three blood sugar targets you can have don't know the exact targets but i know that mine is in the like six i think it's 6.1 or 6.7 but that's my target and that's the highest of the three targets so i think it's 6.1 but when you do exercise obviously exercise can lower your blood sugar so you kind of want to have your blood sugar target a bit higher and this is called a temporary target and it's set at 8.1 i think it is i'm going to show you in a minute on the pump anyway the rule is set the temporary target this is what they told me in training one hour before the exercise the duration of the exercise and 15 to 20 minutes after the exercise so for example if i'm going for a half an hour walk it should be one hour before half an hour and then 15 minutes so one hour and 45 should be the temp target on the pump altogether we're gonna set it in a minute when we go inside and it did take me a while to figure out you know at the start i wasn't setting it for long enough before my blood sugar wasn't getting to that target and i was going low even just from walking so that's basically how the temporary target works you want your blood sugar to be a little bit higher before exercise you want to keep it at that level during exercise and it's important to set it before because also the 780g autocorrects in smart guard so say you forgot to set your pump to the temp target of 8.1 and say your blood sugar was nine and then you start to walk and you see oh it's giving me an auto correction to try and bring me down to what it thinks my target is which could be like 5.5 and then you could go low so it's very it's a lot to think about so anyway let's go inside and set our temp target for an hour before our walk so here's my pump as you can see my blood sugar is for I have a bit of active insulin on board and it's 11 a.m. So I'm going to go for a walk in an hour. So to get to the temp target, you want to go into Smart Guard, click on that, go down to temp target, and we want an hour before the walk, about half an hour, 40 minutes of the walk, and about 15, 20 minutes after. So I will select the two hours. That's the target there. I wanted to double check. So the target that it wants to raise my blood sugar to is 8.3. So I'm just going to start that there. As you can see, it comes up a little banner along the bottom and it will start to count down. If you decide, oh, it's start raining, I don't want to go for a walk, you could just cancel the temp target. So that's pretty easy to do. Click out of it there. 
So my blood sugar is four. I'm hoping by 12, because my temp target is two hours long, so this is an hour before, it will start to raise my blood sugar. It wants to aim for the 8.3 target. If not, I'm gonna have to have a little snack before I go walking, because I cannot go walking at a blood sugar of four. I will just go low. So you can see it start to count down now. I'm just having a look at my graph. I can actually see that I haven't had any insulin in an hour. So yeah, I'm back in range. We'll see what the temp target does. I'm not gonna have anything now and see if it brings me up. So I will catch up with you in an hour, but that is how you set the temp target on the Medtronic 780G. Okay, everybody. So as you can see, it's been about 50 minutes. I'm getting ready to go for a walk now. Just gonna get myself and Lana ready. She's coming in the door there. <laughs> she heard her name. So yeah, one hour left on the temp target for about a half an hour, 40 minute walk. And then the remaining like 20 minutes oh, will be for when I come back. So I'm happy my blood sugar has gone up a bit. To, oh, six now, as you just saw there. So the temp target is definitely helping to raise it. Um, Yeah, there was no insulin at all. And then there was some background basal insulin there. But I feel happy enough to go for a walk. So let's get going and see how the blood sugar does after. Usually I have my lunch when I come back and I still keep the temp target on even when I have my lunch. So I'll be doing that. Oh yeah, I always carry a lift anyway, just in case I do go low, but hopefully I'll be okay. Come on, keep going on our walk, come on. Okay, so I'm just back home, uh, just finishing my walk. So let's check the pump, see what it says. Didn't have any lows, which is great. Pump says, I hope you can see it. 5.8 which is perfect and I still have some time left on the temp target for it to stay up at that so I'm gonna go in and have my lunch and I'll keep an update on how the blood sugars go so as of right now we will have a little look at my blood sugar so I had my lunch which was 65 64 grams of carbs and right now my blood sugar is 4.8 so as you could see Oh, 5.1 actually. As you can see, the temp target is no longer there. That's finished. If I wanted to start it again, I would just go into that smart guard mode there and select temp target. And um, so I think that walk was successful. I'm in range after. I'm not high. I'm not low. And I'm very happy with that. So that was a little bit about walking as my exercise and a bit about temp target. So now you have an idea. So I will catch up with you probably tomorrow when we start running. And that will be a bit more challenging, I think. So hopefully that will go okay. So today is the day that we're going to start running. This is the blood sugar as of now. I'm going to set my temp target. So I'm going to set it for an hour before. Half an hour running, which might be a bit long. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do two and a half hours. So first thing I need to do, because I'm in work clothes, is I need to get changed and find out where I'm gonna put my pump because I've never ran with the pump before. So I'm thinking the band. I'm gonna go put one of them on now and see, will that work? Okay, so you all saw my belt in my pump accessories video. So this is the hid in brand belt so the pump goes in here and then this goes around me so i'm actually going to try put this like higher up on my waist like here if i can so i'll show you after i put it on and i'm hoping that will hold the pump in place so this is the band this pump is attached to here my stomach and this is the band where the pump is going to sit first run in months so i am not i'm not feeling great about how i look anyway because going on the pump it does like make your weight fluctuate like it went down after i came off of the traceba and stuff but then it went back up so i'm just not feeling great and i feel a bit unfit because i haven't been running in like three months so i'm trying to get back into it so hopefully this is me getting back into it but i don't feel very comfortable right now and i'm really a bit nervous about running with the pump and how that will work out so i hope it'll all go well i'll give you an update on my blood sugar before i start running and we'll go from there and obviously I have a little bag, so I'm going to put my phone in here and of course I'm going to bring a lift because you never know what could happen, so I'll have that too. Okay, I have just arrived at where I'm going to run. Pump is here. Blood sugar is 6 on the screen. I'm actually really low 
on insulin in the pump i knew i was kind of low and i needed to change it because that little vial symbol means you're low reservoir i didn't realize how low though so i'll be grand like i'll make this run and i'll make it home hopefully i won't use 16 units in the background in the space of like one hour so i think i will be fine um yeah this will be my first run in months and my first run ever without with and my first run ever with a pump so i don't know we'll see how it goes hopefully it'll go okay and there won't be any problems hopefully i won't go up after i'm just gonna put another lift into my little bag right as you can see my face is very red so i did the run i never even said how long i did i'm only starting off small i just did two and a half k but like i haven't done any running in three months so i have to build it back up to be honest the max i've ever really done is 5k maybe a bit more that could have been years ago so anyway i'm just having my bottle is so cute and it has like i don't know can you see oh it's on the other side let me show you so it has like all these motivational messages i had a blue one of these and then broke so i got this one it was only four euro which is really really good and i think it holds half no it holds 1200 mils anyway my blood sugar right now is 7.5 as you can see from my screenshot the temp target maybe i set it a bit longer like you're supposed to set it for an hour before the exercise the duration of the exercise which was about 20 minutes and then half an hour probably 15 to minutes to half an hour after mine still has an hour left but to be honest because it's the first time i've ever ran i'm gonna keep it i'm not gonna cancel temp target early but maybe on the next run we won't do it as long so i will be interested now to see if my blood sugar goes down it's gone up a tiny bit but sometimes when you run your blood sugar can go up and then drop so we'll see mm, so i was just waiting here and <coughs> all of a sudden my blood sugar is plummeting down like you can see on the screenshot it's 4.3 and arrow straight down so that's not good because it's only been like i'm still in the temp target it's only been like 10 minutes since the run and i thought i was fine my blood sugar at 7.5 when i left so i'm having some lift because i don't have my real monitor to check either but i know i'm about to go into hypo because i can feel it so i have half a lift so i guess i don't have this temp i don't know like am i i'm gonna have to do some research if i need to have a snack or lower my insulin at the meal before but if i do that then the pump might auto correct so I'm going to have to try to figure it out because I thought my time target was long enough, but it's clearly not. Right. So that's not good. Okay, everybody. Can you see that? Seven is the pump blood sugar today. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Can you see my big Christmas tree that's growing? Anyway, side note. So I'm outside with Lana. She's just running around for a bit because she is full of beans. And so it's been two days since my last run. I didn't film it, but actually, <laughs> you know, the way I went low after the first run immediately a few hours later in the middle i'd say about 12 a.m i actually went low again which i never do because you know i'm usually go high blood sugar at night time so it was very strange and i wonder was it from the running but we're gonna try again today and hopefully don't go low so blood sugar seven now you saw that and i'm gonna set the temp target earlier today because i think that could have been an issue so i'm gonna set it now and that will be about two hours before this time so i'm gonna set it for let me see two hours before half an hour for the run half an hour after so i'm going to set a three hour temp target and we'll go from there i felt physically okay after the running besides going low because i thought i'd be in bits to be honest i'm going to try again another two and a half kilometer run hopefully i can do it and hopefully i don't go low i really don't want to go low so i have the pump in this pocket here today so anyway here we go temp target duration up that please up yeah three hours start so that's started let's see how we get on so not going too well bit of an update it's only 5 to 11 and blood sugar is significantly dropping now i'm not going to run for another hour so if i go low i am going to have some jellies but we're just going to hang on and see if somehow this comes back up i doubt it but we'll have to just wait and see if i go low i'll eat a jelly and we'll see what the blood sugar is before i go running okay hey. So my pump is still saying 4.6, but I felt bad. So this is the real blood sugar, 3.7. So in, time to have the jellies. Okay, I just pulled in, just getting set up to do my run. So I have my bag with, it's gonna have my phone, 
mm, one and a half lifts and keys so oh my god blood sugar is 4.7 and going straight up i checked on my actual monitor before i left to make sure it was above five it was five to drive because i have to drive to where i want to run um but it is going straight up i have the temp target on obviously i don't know why i went low before like trying my best but we we gotta keep going on so i'm gonna run i feel better enough to run i hope i don't drop again so let's just go ahead and do it and then we'll have lunch when i come back and to be honest i'm not gonna have a big lunch i'll carb count and i'll probably take the right amount of carbs and we'll see if that keeps me level and if that doesn't work and i go low again maybe i need to like drop the carbs i have at lunch we'll have to it's so hard to figure all this out but let's do the run and the pump is actually in this pocket this time and connected into me in my stomach so i don't actually have the belt on so we'll see how this goes okay just finished there's the proof oh i don't know why it's changing but i'm dying there is the proof that i did it and that's the time i did it in pump stayed very secure in the pocket in my leg it's probably really sweaty though I like my face yeah you can, can you see the sweat on it ew does anyone have any tips for actually cleaning the pump because this is gross so can you see that Temp targets still on, blood sugar is a good 7.5. Temp targets on for another 54 minutes. So hopefully it'll hold steady. Okay. I just, <laughs> just go home. And this 4.8 and going down. I'm gonna go low because I can feel it. I just I just not getting it. Like I don't does anyone have advice? I don't know what part of this video I'll put up the video, but like like I think I'm always fine and then I'm like dropping and it's just really bad and I feel like it defeats the purpose of running so much when you just have to eat a load of sugar. I'm gonna have a jelly now. I'm wondering, see I find it, because I'm so new to the Medtronic, do I need to eat something maybe right before I run to have the blood sugar go up if the temp target thing is not working? I might need to do that. I'm gonna eat a jelly now and go for a shower. So I've done two runs this week. I don't know if I want to do three. I want to do three in general but this week has just been a lot getting back to it so i might only do two um anyway i managed to run but it's just i can't get it right with the temp target like you can see the temp target still is half an hour left but i'm definitely gonna go low so i'm gonna eat jelly and get in the shower we might need to think about having a snack very close to the run so that brings up the blood sugar but also doesn't auto correct actually do auto corrections work in temp target i need to look that up for next time Right, here we go, a new attempt at running again. So this week, I want to run a bit more in distance. I'm just looking at my running plan. So I'm gonna do 2.8 today, then 2.4 and a 2.8. So 2.8 will be 0.4 kilometers more than last week. I am really tired today. Anyway, my blood sugar on my pump. Let's have a little look. I've got these ones where I can put it in the pocket again at the leg. 6.4 i have the temp target i set the temp oh, i did already set the temp target so that has been on now um i'd say about an um, half an hour so it'll be an hour by the time i go running to be honest i should have set it for longer for two hours but i forgot it's so hard to keep track of all these things and i have a bit of a different idea now because we know we're always going low so We'll see what the blood sugar is just before the one the run. So we'll see what the blood sugar is just before running when I leave. And then I was thinking, you know, I get back to the car and I'm fine. And then I drop loads by the time I get home, which is only like five minutes. So I'm thinking if I have a small snack, that might help. So these are like little, you can see the picture there. They're like little four rice cakes in a packet and they're nine grams of carbs. So I thought that would be a good place to start. And if not, we might need to incorporate a more carby or sugary snack. But I thought we'd try these. So basically, when I get back to the car, I'm going to immediately eat a small packet of these. And hopefully that will hold me. Obviously, these are gluten-free as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So let's get ready. Have a bit more work to do. And then I'll run in a little while. Okay. Good sugar six. Here we go. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I didn't film straight after, honestly. That was the most sick I've ever felt doing a run. I actually only managed 2.6 out of 2.8 because I thought I was gonna black out, not diabetes related. I just felt so like I was gonna get sick and I was getting like black spots in my eye. So I thought I'd call it at 2.6. I mean, 
literally crawl the last bit back to the car. I feel so sick. I still don't feel great. But anyway, I did eat the rice cakes in the car. And my blood sugar seems to be holding steady at six. So if I could just get myself feeling better, that would be okay. So maybe we found a way of setting the temp target an hour-ish before, during, a bit after. It's still on 16 minutes now. And having that snack might help. I'll keep an eye today. And if you don't hear from me, you know it worked. And if you hear from me, you know it didn't work. But I feel really sick. Okay, here we go. Again, 9.7 blood sugar is pretty good. So I'm going to set the temp target. So I'm about an hour and a half before when I want to run. So an hour and a half before, half an hour during, half an hour after, two and a half hours. So I'm going to set the temp target for and we'll bring my rice cakes again. And hopefully I won't collapse like last time. It's very hot outside though. Obviously I'm not ready yet to go running. But anyway, here is the temp target. We'll give you an update after the run. See what the blood sugar is before and after. As you can see, it's very, very sunny, so I'm just about to do a run. Here's how my blood sugar's looking. I don't like that it says it's dropping, but I have been really stressed at work. I'm hoping it'll go down. So I'll just do a bit of a warm-up walk, and then I forgot my rice cakes. Oh, my God. So I just finished work, and it was a very, very stressful day. So I that I'm dropping. I'll have to wait till I go home to grab the rice cakes, and I have lift anyway in my bag. I also realized I never put my belt on for my pump. So I'm not very prepared today, but here we go. Didn't make it in time. So <laughs> I was fine when I was leaving the run. I am so sweaty, but the run went better. Uh, but now I'm low again. So I'm gonna drink some Lyft, try again. I did eat the rice cakes, but obviously not quick enough because I forgot to bring them in the car. So we'll try again another time. Okay, we are again ready to go again. So temp target, I'm about to put it on. Pump is like, I'm just hanging off here. I need to change the pump. That's why it's like that. So two hours. I'm going to do the temp target. And we're going to wear the running belt for the insulin pump. And then we're going to also bring the rice cakes. I did go low this morning already. As you can see, my blood sugar is in the fives. So it's not that high. So I will set the temp target for two hours and hope that helps a lot. And just outside with Lana now. You can hear her with her colour. And I hope I'll be okay today. I would really my hair is going red what the hell i would really like one time to not go low after a run so i'll try my best today and hopefully hopefully we'll have some sort of process then okay about to go for the run blood sugar is 6.8 i have my water which i never have and i have now have the rice cakes have the lift in here and have the pump on here so let's go okay i'm home now i did the run <laughs> Good and bad news, good. I managed to do the 2.8 kilometers, which I couldn't do on Monday. My blood sugar is 5.2 and go down. I ate the rice cakes. I might need to eat a biscuit. I'm gonna try eating another few carbs and see if that helps. And if that stops a low, I'll let you know if I go low. Bad news though is I think I like my infusion. I think from sweating so much, it just fell off. Literally, I only put this on today. You can see the cannula there, like it's still in the skin, but. I don't know if I'm gonna have to change it. It's just annoying. I probably am gonna have to. It's annoying because I just put it on before this run, but I don't know, it's not sticky at all. So yeah, maybe this was the reason. Look, it's bent inside. So that was never gonna work. So I've taken off the pump. Now I have to put on a new thing and oh, I just did it. So it's a waste. Well, hopefully now my blood sugar will hold steady. Uh, I need to go put on a pump. Okay, here we go again. So waiting for GPS blood sugar. Had a biscuit before. So the blood sugar is going up, it's nine and going up. So I just getting sick of going low. So I said I'll just eat a whole biscuit before and see if that helps. So about half an hour before I had that biscuit. So let's see how we do now. Have to do 3.2 kilometers today. So it's gonna be a longest one I've ever done. So I hope, hope, hope I don't go low after. Okay, I'm back from that run and I just wanted to had a share there. I just wanted to show you that I literally just saved myself from going low. So what I did was I ate those pack of rice cakes that you saw that's nine grams of carbs the sugar is four but oh i have to had a share i have to take off the suspended one sec resume basil yeah so i am 4.1 still in the temp target obviously like i had the temp target set two hours before because i knew it would be a long run oh, it's not going great so i had a biscuit before which was like maybe five grams of carbs then i had the rice cakes and when i came back i just chugged a half a glass of chocolate milk which i worked out to be about 10 grams of carbs so i think 
and I've just stopped going like just saved it from the low so I think I need about 15 to 20 grams of carbs after and I think I need some carbs before like the temp target is not just cutting it the temp target is just not cutting it so we're gonna have to find a snack before my next run which is in two days and have that maybe 15 minutes before current blood sugar 5.7 so here we go again every time <laughs> one day you're gonna see me and i'm not gonna be failing at this so run day so today we are running i have my running plan let me have a look today we're running 2.4 so a good bit less than monday so it's two hours before now so i'm gonna set the temp target temp target and two hours before half an hour during half an hour after three hours Setting the temp target. So that has started there and I still have insulin on board. So I do have a good bit of insulin on board still, but that will definitely be cleared up by the time that's done. So I am setting that now. I have a lot of time. I do think my blood sugar, it's six now. I do think it will be up a bit by the time two hours comes around because I had pasta for lunch. So I'm hoping because I've had a bigger lunch than normal, it'll be a bit higher so if it's not we'll eat a snack because we learned that last time and it's a really nice day outside i will chat to you just before the run i'll let you know if i had a snack or not and we'll see how we go and feeling confident today please let today be the day where i don't go low okay so here's my blood sugar it's going up which is not what i wanted i don't want it too high either but anyway i had 15 grams of carbs before 20 minutes ago so i'm hoping that will help and i'm hoping i won't go really high either i don't want to be too high or too low but let's give this a go ooh, 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 ooh. oh my god so i need to drink some water because it's so hot <coughs> so i did the run i <coughs> my blood sugar was he saw what i started off at and then it was 13.3 double hours going up so i was like i've made a terrible mistake um now it's 12.6 so usually now I would horse down these rice cakes, but because I'm a bit higher, I'm going to just see. I'm going to keep a very close eye on it and see if I start to drop. If I do, I'll start to eat them because I might have eaten enough carbs before to push me. Like honestly, I'm a little bit higher than I want to be. It makes the running hard, but I'm not going low, and I'm trying to beat that. So maybe I don't need the snack after. So we're going to keep an eye on it and see. But it's so warm. Hmm. Let's see by the time I get home because usually. I'm gonna drop on dropping by the time I get home. Now I'm in the field with Lana just after cooling down a bit. We are so well, I'm so warm. She's just running around here. <laughs> She's probably warm too. But my blood sugar did start to drop, so put it on the screen. It was like 10 and going straight down or nine and going straight down. And I did eat the rice cakes. The rice cakes are nine grams of carbs. So I'm thinking that's saving me because my pump is actually not connected to my phone, which is really annoying at the moment. Sometimes if I move too far away, it disconnects. But it says the reading on the pump is 10.1. So I think I've saved myself. So I don't know, like I don't really like going high because it makes running harder. But it seems like I'm at a good level now. The temp target is still on, so I assume when the, tar when the temp target ends, the pump will start to auto correct to bring me down back more in range but I've kind of solved it by having carbs beforehand doing the run and having carbs after so I think I'm getting there <laughs> we'll see in the next video so first successful run without going low I just barely missed going low last time so I'm gonna call this the first one so I'm happy hello today's the day I know it's gonna be the day so I actually managed a successful run last week without going low I did go a bit high but not too high so i'm gonna do my final test today if it works today then i'll be really happy so i actually had to change my sensor because it was supposed to change tomorrow morning but i not i just died anyway so changed it so currently says 6.3 on the pump and going straight up um i did check on my real meter it says 9.4 so because that says 9.4 i i'm not gonna put that into my meter yet because i feel like it's I always want to give it a bit of time to just kind of adjust if I put this in and it doesn't take the calibration then I'll be messed up for my run so I do have a temp target on for the last nearly two hours because I'm going to run in about 20 minutes and I'm really prepared today so I have my lift in case I do go low but I'm hoping I won't I have eaten a carb snack so I've eaten nine grams of carbs those little rice cake bars you've seen before and then after the run I'm going to have half of this and that will be 10 grams of carbs 
and I hope I'll be all right. It's really hard to run when you're high, so I hope I don't go high. I hope that I am at blood sugar of nine with the temp target and that's where I really am. And uh, I'm not gonna go any higher than that. But we'll see, I'm feeling positive today. It was, it's kind of raining outside though, so that's the worst thing. And if this run goes right, we can end the video on a successful run. And because it'll be the second time, then I'll know that I have a method in mind and it has taken a while to get here so hopefully we'll all go right and of course gotta bring my water gotta bring my water too um i have a run of 3.8 kilometers today so it gets longer every week so i will be running a bit more so i do think having blood sugar a little bit high will be okay so just a quick i've done half my run i wanted to show you i'm using this case which has a window which is really good i'm 6.9 temp target's still on so i'm gonna get going again to go all the way back here another basically two kilometers so i hope i will hold steady okay i actually did it so i'm home now just with lana cooling off outside i <laughs> my pump is reading off first of all so when i got back to the car my blood sugar was dropping this so i really 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 quickly ate a protein bar and that's brought me up so my blood sugar on my actual glucose meter is 6.3 and i double checked it it is actually that double checked it to make sure because my pump is saying that i'm four but i just put on a new sensor so it's sometimes it's a bit off at the start and i think that's why but i actually did it successfully temp target is finished now so i did two hour temp target before 10 grams of carbs before the run about 20 minutes before and then 15 grams of carbs after and i don't think i'm rising because my pump doesn't say that i'm trying to fix the reading on my pump now in a minute but i think that's the method that works for me and i feel like the longer the runs go the better that this will be so i am really happy and i hope this video i feel like this is the it took a long time to get to this point but i hope that you enjoyed watching and just shows that diabetes is not easy and exercise is particularly hard with diabetes so you see how many attempts it took me before I actually found out how to manage to run and not go low. Oh my God. So temp target is the key. If you have any questions on that, let me know. And if you have anything else you want to ask me, ask me in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'm just glad that I managed to get back into running because it was very hard at the start, like constantly going low. So this is a method that seems to be working for me. You know, it might not work every time, but at least I have something and I'm happy with it and I'm going to keep running.